Hello. So let's do a little ride with me. And I got something on my mind. I always do, right? So I wanted to talk about it because I know for women this is an issue. I'm not so sure it is for men per se, but definitely for women. So y'all know, I mean, I talk a lot about the resale business, but the thing that's really paying my bills right now is my cleaning business. I clean houses and I clean for, I have some commercial accounts, but basically I clean. I clean for other people. And one of the reasons why I do it is for, to help, well, the main reason is to help people, whether they need more time or physically it's hard for them, whatever their rationale is for hiring me, that's what it is. I help people keep their house clean, okay, in some capacity or, or another, and I give them some time to do other things if they're able-bodied but just don't have the time to, to do it, okay? But, you know, like I, I think I mentioned a few videos back, I had somebody come clean for me, and it was a wonderful experience. You know, it, um, but we had a little incident a couple days ago, and um, things are have kind of jumped off track again. I'm hoping I can get caught up today and tomorrow, you know, um, because my days are full. But anyway, Ray, um, you know, if you don't know, he's he's a double amputee. He's also diabetic, and and he was having a really bad day a couple days ago. Really bad day. And so, you know, there over the course of the last few years, there have been times when I, I thought I was going to lose him. Okay? And it wasn't quite that bad a couple days ago. But I did wonder if I was going to have to take him to the hospital. You know, and I had to ask him that. He, You know, in the beginning, when he first was having this incident, he says, I don't know. So, it was pretty bad. When he tells me, I don't know... He's not, he's not doing good, okay? Because um, he's not a big baby when it comes to things. He, he will put it off and neglect his health, which that's a whole other issue, which we're not going to go into. That's just him. I can't do anything to change that. And I, you know, okay, so that's him. But, you know, he was, he was having more than just a moment, okay? It was a moment in the big grand scheme of things, but it was more than a moment at that time. In other words, it was well over a couple hours where he was trying to get himself, his body under control and feel better. And we, you know, I can't hover over him. He's not gonna put up with that, okay? But I can't just run off and do my thing either because <laughs> If he passes out or something really bad happens, I've got to be there. Now, keep in mind, I told you he's a double amputee, and he had taken his legs off, you know, because of his lack of comfort, and, and you know, trying to get more comfortable so he could... Anyway, long story short, he had an incident. I had to keep an eye on him and stay close by without seeming like I was hovering. That's what was going on. And... So, because of that, and because this went on for, you know, a, a, a little period of time, right in my time when I'm supposed to be taking care of my house, things didn't get done, okay? And so, now I'm behind, and I'm, I'm a little upset about it, but this is my life right now, and, you know... I, I'm not the only person going through this. Like, I know that there are other people who have people that, that depend on them. Even if it's just a child, you know. And, and I feel that way sometimes with him. Not that he's childish, but if it's that time of day where he doesn't have his legs on anymore, he's going to ask me to get him a drink or something, you know. And it's like having a toddler that can't reach. You know, physically, they just can't do it. And it, it wears on me. I'm not a young mother anymore. I'm an old woman. And it does. It wears on me. And But anyway, to get back to what I'm talking about, of having grace with ourselves, not just them. I mean, you know, I know we get frustrated with, with the people that we take care of. 
but we're more inclined if they're kids or somebody who's disabled or somebody who's older, you know, that needs, they can't take care of themselves the way they used to. We will usually get our head back into the place where it's supposed to be. And I said, you know, this is their situation. They didn't ask to be this way, you know, or they're growing or they're getting better or they're not going to get better, whatever the case may be. But we can, you know, be rational and give them grace for whatever they are and forgive them for being dependent or taking your attention away from whatever it is that, um, that you would prefer to be doing at the moment but with ourselves we don't do that you know and I think we need to realize that first of all we're not be all we can't be all everything every minute of the day and get things done a hundred percent of the time there's just you know only so many hours in the day you've only got so many hands you, you see what I'm saying? Now, there are ways of dealing with it, like delegating, okay? If you don't have time to clean your house, hire a house cleaner, right? If you don't have time to mow your yard, hire a lawn care person, okay? You, you know, there's always something that somebody can do. We've got so many conveniences now. You don't even have to go to the grocery store anymore. You can have your groceries delivered to your house, which, by the way, used to be a thing. And then it went away like in the 70s. I remember as a child, um, the pharmacy would deliver our prescriptions to our house. And I remember Milkman coming and delivering milk. Um, you know, for some reason, those services went away, but now they're coming back in a different way, you know, and, um, but it's coming back because you know why? It works, it's convenient. It gives us time to do other things. So there is that, but maybe you're not in a position to pay for someone to clean your house because, you know, I mean, I'm moderately priced, but it's expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's expensive. So, you know, if it's not something that you can fit into your budget, I get it, you know, um, or same thing with, you know, for me, some things feel like they're frivolous, like having somebody go to the grocery store or bring groceries to my house. Which can get expensive too. Um, you know, it's just you have to pay for those things. Or ask for help. I mean, even your children can pick up their toys. You, you see? Okay? We can, we can get them to help um, clean up their toys or uh, help in the kitchen. Maybe not a toddler, but, you know, an older child can help. Um, you know, you wash, they dry, and that kind of thing you know, they can help there's no reason and we should be training our children or our spouses you know well we don't train your spouse but let them know that you need help that maybe you're having trouble and you could use some help I mean I've had to do that sometimes even with Ray and the way he is he can't necessarily do the amount of work that I could stand in there you know he probably can't stand there as long as I could but every little bit helps you know Every little bit helps. So, yeah, don't be afraid to ask somebody for help or your friends. I've heard about people getting together and, like, having um, kind of like a swap meet or a, helping each other. Like, they'll go over and do my garage this week and next week we'll do your garage. You know, you have to have a friend that's going to reciprocate, though. you got to watch it with people like that. And they make it a project, you know, and they work together and get things done. And there is, um, it's a proverb or something, I, you know, it's an old saying, many hands make light work. Well, that's true, you know. It's a lot easier. Well, there's also the saying, too many cooks spoil the soup. But, you know, if you're working together as a productive team, it's a lot easier to get something done than it is to try to do things on your own, you know. So, um, that's just an idea, something I had heard somewhere people helping each other out by doing working together and even I will tell you the truth there have been times and I know this is up for controversial discussion I guess in the cleaning community with my colleagues but I have had people ask me to come and help them and I mean literally help them clean their house um, 
in a situation, a couple of situations come to mind. One is actually a lady's, it was a lady's son's house where there was some domestic stuff going on and the house was just completely out of control, you know, so she would be downstairs doing stuff in the kitchen. And a lady was moving too. As a matter of fact, she was doing the kitchen packing and stuff and I was cleaning. And then I had another lady who, um, she was cleaning because she was getting ready for Christmas. So I was doing the general cleaning and then she was doing the stuff that needed to be done that was specific for her holiday decor, you know. So it happens where, you know, people have hired me to be part of a team to get their houses ready for different things, you know. Um, and I know a lot of cleaning companies don't like that. I, you know, I'm a little bit more flexible. That's all I can say. You got an idea, tell me, maybe we can make it work. You know, it doesn't always work when I'm going to a construction company or, you know, like a post construction and they're still working. That makes it kind of hard because they're still making the place dirty and I'm trying to clean it. You know what I mean? And I've had people do that and it's like, no, this is not going to work. You've got people tracking drywall dust on my clean floor, you know, <laughs> so, but, you know, my point is that, you know, people can help you help if you're getting behind, but ultimately, just on day-to-day -day living, okay, if you didn't get your dishes done today, or the kids, you know, you didn't get them picked up, or maybe you didn't fold that load of laundry, or whatever it is, you don't have to kick yourself for it. Okay, sure you're going to be behind, but especially for things like when it comes to being distracted by people that, that you love because of their needs, okay, like your children or your parents or your spouse, I, I can tell you for sure those toys are not going to be on that floor forever, and eventually your kids are going to grow up and they're going to move, you know, and they're not going to be in your house every day. So, if, if you had to take care of your child because today they were sick and they needed extra cuddles, cuddle. Okay? Just go ahead and cuddle. Because one day they're not going to want to just sit on your lap. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. They're going to be too busy for you. Which is fine. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to grow up, right? And become adults. They don't stay children forever. Same thing with your parents. You know, your parents... They took the time to raise you, and uh, they get to the point where they need help, and it might be inconvenient, and they may be starting to have mental health issues coming along due to aging, and, you know, they could be difficult, because they know that they're supposed to be your parent, and you know that they're supposed to be sane, or whatever, you know, it, it can be hard, but... patient with them and be patient with you too because they're going to be gone you won't have your parents forever either I promise you that mine are gone and um, I miss I miss certain people even my friends I've lost friends you know so and my kids are fine by the way they're all grown up and they're doing their adult stuff so it's not like that they haven't thank God lost my children but my parents have passed away and I'm at the age where friends are passing away. My very best friend my whole life, she, she passed away before I even moved to Georgia. She's gone. Gone. I won't see her until I could pass on. You know? And, and that's the thing. Like even, yeah, we're going to go one day too. And so being kind to ourselves because life is so short. It's a lot shorter than you realize. You know, and the older you get, the shorter it gets. It just goes like this. Next thing you know, these little babies are now teenagers, and then they're driving, and then they're dating, and then they're getting married, and they're having their own babies. And then your grandchildren are having grandchildren. So be kind to yourself, because sometimes you just can't do it all, you know? And something more important took your attention away from something that's not that important. That's what it all comes down to. Don't miss those opportunities to love. Because the dirt and the extra tasks and these unimportant things will be there until they're not.